Hey, Speed Demons, the reason why this column chart might not be trustworthy is there's no such thing as a total data label on top of a stacked column or stacked bar chart. So in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, what will often happen is people will take their data label from one of the stacks and they'll push it on top of the column and then hard code their numbers in, or they'll go and they'll add a text box or shape like this. They'll stick it on top in their chart, and again, they'll hard code their numbers in, which means that these are fake totals. So you're going to see this in Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And the problem is you're going to end up with some bad numbers in your presentation. For example, notice here that I've actually increased the total. Maybe I realized that my service and other was a little bit off. And now you have the situation where I have this 86 billion for Microsoft's revenue and 93 billion for Microsoft's revenue. But here in the middle of the presentation, they look like they're exactly the same. So the question is, is the 86 correct? Is the 93 correct? Or are they both incorrect because these are fake totals? So let me show you how to fix this. Here in PowerPoint with the chart that we want to fix, I'm going to select the data labels and hit the Control-1 keyboard shortcut, which opens up the chart feature that I want to format. And you can check out my other YouTube video if you need help with that shortcut. Here in the data labels format dialog box, notice here for label position, we have center. And if I click it, inside end and inside base. And as I select these, notice that the data labels actually rotate inside of the stacked column or bar chart. So this is what often happens. People are moving these up within their charts and they're manually typing in the total. And even if that total is correct when they first type it, the problem becomes if we then later right click, edit data, and we come into the underlying Excel spreadsheet here in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, I'm gonna type 10 billion instead of 20 billion, hit enter, notice that the column adjusted, but the total didn't. So that is the problem. This is a fake or static total that as my numbers change in my presentation, I have to come in and manually adjust that. So that's what we want to avoid. So there's a couple of ways to do this. I'm going to start by deleting these static or fake data labels. I'm then going to right click and move back to the Excel spreadsheet. So whether you're in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, you first off want to add a total. I'm just going to equal sum and you want to add this as a formula into your spreadsheet. So you have a running sum. That way, if I later come back and change this to 30 billion, all right, the total is going to automatically change. If you're just doing this from scratch, you just can take the total and graph it at the same time. And you can see, I now have that total here in my chart. Now, in this case, it's running off of my chart, which means that my Y axis has been manually adjusted. So I'm gonna select my Y axis, hit the Control-1 keyboard shortcut, which opens up those axis options. Check out my other video if you need help with that shortcut. And I'm gonna reset the axis so that PowerPoint, in this case, is taking care of the total. Now here, I'm just gonna sweep through, right click and add these data labels back. They're a little bit small, but because that's a sum function up top, this is now the correct total. And if I change this, this total up above will adjust. I'm just going to increase the font size of that and hit control B to make it bold. So here's where you start to get a little bit tricky. You're going to select your totals on top of your stacked column chart, hit the control one keyboard shortcut, and you're going to set those to inside base, which puts the total right on top of the stacked column chart. From here, you're going to select the total, come to your chart tools format tab and just take away the shape fill and the shape outline, which makes it look like it's the total. It's a true blue total on top. From here, you're going to want to stretch out your chart a little bit. So I'm going to select my Y axis, hit the control one keyboard shortcut here. I'm going to go back to that 120, so 120 billion hit enter. And those are automatically going to adjust up. Now I normally would just take away the Y axis and I would also take away these grid lines. All right, here, now you're into formatting your chart. I will just increase that. I will just increase that and change the font to white. But this is now a true blue total. If I right click, edit data, I come in, notice if I now put 15 billion into my chart, that's automatically going to adjust. Now I use the stacked column chart up top. You could also pull this off by changing this into a line and then using the data labels to push it up to the top it's automatically going to adjust, which means you're not going to end up with a presentation like this. Notice that these are exactly the same with a bunch of bad totals that you have to explain away in the middle of your presentation. So that's how to get a total data label on top of a stacked bar chart. Again, I showed you how to do it with a fake stacked total up top. You could also, if you're more comfortable with it, change this bar chart into a line and use that data label instead as the total running across the top. It works the same exact way.
If you're new to my channel and want to keep up to date on my PowerPoint hack trickery, so hacks, tips, and tricks to help get you to happy hour, make sure you subscribe down below. If you're just looking for PowerPoint tips and resources to help get you to happy hour, including PDFs, cheat sheets, resources, and uh, video series to help you save 40 hours in PowerPoint, uh, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolt Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.